We're gonna start off with talking about hydration. We're gonna talk about why it's so important to keep your body well oiled with as much water as you can during the day. Now, for those of you that drink six cups of coffee and think that that's water, I mean, it is essentially that's made of water, but remember a lot of the caffeinated beverages will actually dehydrate you and they'll actually make you worse as a diuretic. So I want you to think about this as every glass of water going in is replenishing blood volume, uh, connective tissue, joint synovial fluid, uh, the fluid that flows back and forth in your entire spinal column to your brain and around the brain, everything is revolved around how much water you're drinking. So number one, you should double your water intake. Get to at least half of your body weight in ounces as it relates to water. So if I weigh 200 pounds, I need 100 ounces of water at a minimum per day. So make sure you stay hydrated. And especially those of you that are sitting in front of monitors and computer screens all day, don't think that that's not taxing your body. All that blue and white light will actually affect you on the cellular level, which then if it doesn't have enough water in that body, then the reaction and the breakdown becomes even worse. Okay, so remember, dehydration is not allowed. Think of it as if I was going on a hundred mile walk, I would never leave without water. So take water with you, get your walk done, and then walk deliberately. Walk deliberately. This is a message that I have to get across to a lot of people. Put your phone away, get present with what's around you and how you feel during the walk. So think about it as, I wanna get a real heel strike and I wanna get a real toe off. So when you're walking, let your heel hit the ground, let it roll, and then make sure as your leg goes behind you that you push off your toes. You'll notice that one side may be different than the other. You'll also notice that when you're walking like that and you do feel the difference, when you do your agoscue exercises prior to your walk, your whole walk changes. So the heel strike changes, the toe off changes. You're not really walking with your shoulders up here and swinging one arm and the other one's not moving. Those are kind of little things like driving a race car and having one wheel that's doing this and the rest of the three are stable. You know you're not gonna get very far before you end up in some trouble. So the same thing happens with your body trying to renew itself. Drink your water, walk deliberately, change your mindset, get present during this walk. It's not work. You guys are doing this for your faith and your spirituality. Tie your mindset to that. I got a better idea. Tie your heart to that because your mind will play tricks on you. That's a rap song from the 80s. Maybe it was the 90s. But I want you to think about it from get out of your head and into your heart. Wrap yourself around what Olami is putting together for you. Thank you again.